Hi, welcome to QBox. In this QBox quick tips and tricks, we'll show you how to sign up as an account owner. You'll begin at our website, www.qboxplus.com, and click the sign up button in the upper right hand corner. Next, you'll select the QBox option and hit the sign up button there. You'll be taken to a form where you'll enter in your personal information to sign up for your account. Enter in your email, full name, password, an affiliate code if you have one. If you do not have an affiliate code, no problem, leave the option blank. Be sure to check the CAPTCHA to ensure you're not a robot and agree to our terms of service. You'll click submit once you're done. Next, check your email. We've sent you a verification code. Enter in that code here and once you're done, select verify. Now that we've verified our account, let's finish entering our personal information. Enter in your phone number, company name, role, industry, and your zip code. Moving on to our folder setup, you'll first see your root folder. A root folder is where your QBox folders and files will reside. Think of a root folder like a filing cabinet in your office. All of your folders and files will reside in your filing cabinet, for example. QBox will suggest a root folder name based on your company name from the previous form. However, you can choose to rename your root folder if you wish. Next, we'll create sync folders. A sync folder is where all of your files reside in your account. If you are a small business sharing internally with just your staff, you usually need only one folder. That one folder has 10 gigabytes of capacity, so you can put multiple files in that one folder. If you are an accounting firm or bookkeeper looking to share externally with your clients, we would recommend a separate folder for each client. That's because the sharing is done at the folder level, so you only want your client to have access to their specific folder and their files. Your sync folder name can be unique. If you are a small business, you can give it your company name again, like your root folder, or you can name it something simple like QuickBooks. If you're an accounting practice, you can name each folder as your client's company name. Next, we're given the option to share our company folder. Here, we would enter in any one of our shared users' email address that we want to share our folder with. Once we enter in their email address, we can set their QBox permissions. QBox has three user permissions. The first is admin. Admins are allowed to create subfolders, delete subfolders, delete files, and they have rollback capabilities. Next, we have a read-only. Read-only means that that user will never be able to make any changes to the company file to sync it with everybody else. Finally, we have a regular shared user. A regular shared user is able to edit the company file, but they don't have any admin permissions. And in order to make that user a regular shared user, you leave both boxes unchecked. Do keep in mind that there is no additional cost for shared users. So at any time, you can always add additional users. If you are an accounting firm and you want to add more sync folders at this screen, you would click the Add More Sync Folders button and continue on that process. Once you're done, you'll click the Next button to move on. Next, we'll need to download and install the QBox client. Our QBox client is used to open, lock, and sync your company files on your desktop. You'll click the Download QBox client, then you'll see a setup.exe that you'll click and need to run and install. Once it's installed, it'll prompt you to log into QBox. Next, it will ask you where you want your QBox folder to reside on your desktop. The default location is in your local My Documents, but if you choose, you can move it to any location on your desktop. We do not recommend that you put your QBox folder under any path that's synced by a third-party syncing application, such as Dropbox or Google Drive, to avoid conflicted copies and or syncing issues. And that completes the setup process for your QBox desktop application, which is really about 99% of your interaction with QBox. Be sure to check out our next video, Copy QuickBooks Files, to put your files into your shared folder for the first time. And that wraps it up for our QBox quick tips and tricks. Be sure to like and subscribe.